ship shape, but it's been a long journey to get this far. In her heyday, the Balmoral, along with her sister ship, the Waverley, ruled the waves of the Bristol Channel, ferrying day trippers from Wales to Weston and even down the coast to Ilfracombe. You, you, you get on this ship and everything else is forgotten. How many of these trips do you make? Oh, well, almost every day this season. But more recently, she's hit troubled waters, a recession and a bad summer in 2012. The owners at that time decided that she was no longer viable. So she was effectively handed over to a group of enthusiasts in Bristol in a harbour. And it was said, right, there we are, your ship, see what you can do with it. First, she headed for the dry dock in Sharpness for an MOT. The outcome would determine her future. She sailed through, though, but only after £300,000 was raised by the public to fund repairs. And thanks to almost 60 volunteers, everything's been checked, restored and repainted. I'm going to take you to a part of the ship that you wouldn't normally see. Take a look in here. So this is the engine room, the part of the ship that all the volunteers have wanted to get their hands on. Any mechanical stuff, I'm, I'm all over to the my family aren't and they're fed up with me tinkering with stuff in the yard all the time but here we are this is bigger and better so I'll do this basically saw the bell model saw the signs volunteers wanted it and yes I love you know love it you dream it's going to happen and then in January we got the grants and it then looked as if it was going to be possible and it, it's been all systems go it's been chaos in times but the new captain says the ship's back on course now and ready to be launched tonight <laughs>